Thank you. Hold on a second. Is it working? I think it's working. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. Uh, I really didn't have that much time to prepare. So forgive me for any uh, technical difficulties that you uh, that you may see. Again, sorry for that. So uh, today's uh, stream would be about LC0 and its um, uh, strong sides and its flaws. And I would discuss some of the wins that Alpha Zero had. So let me adjust my camera just a little bit. I think that would be better. All right. So um, uh, there are some flaws and some really good things that Alpha Zero, LC Zero, my apologies, LC Zero uh, is capable of. So in my view, it is very good positionally, really good. In closed positions, it can find uh, very good maneuvers, great, uh, great improvement. Uh, if there's a closed pawn structure in the center, it's really good. That's why it keeps beating uh, Stockfish and, uh, and Komodo. For example, it just beat Komodo uh, yesterday or today in King today in King's Indian because there's a bad bishop on G7. Just based on that, LC0 is good. However, it is not good at tactics, even really powerful LC0. Uh, can um, not see some combinations and it's not really good at converting advantage. You would see like really funny games uh, tonight that uh, that I'm gonna show you from current TCEC um, engine championship. But let me start with the position that I posted on my Facebook page. Uh, white uh, to move and win in the position in front of you. And uh, Stockfish can figure out this one really quickly. And really good uh, um, LC0 provided by my friend Valery that you may know from previous uh, stream. So I, if I run his LC0 now, it would it would find a win for white quickly. But let me just just small chess aspect of this position. Uh, white white is rook and piece down, but the attack on the king looks very promising. Bishop takes g6 looks promising, but it's not winning. The winning line goes like this: White goes knight c to e4 threatening to take and give checkmate. The only sensible defense for black is knight bd5 to meet knight f6 with knight f6. And uh, hello Nazaritos, uh, I will watch you, thank you. Enjoy your videos on NN, what is NN? Not sure what NN refers to, Sam. Um, all right, and now white needs to break this, uh, this setup. So white goes bishop to c4 with a threat to take here and then take there. And the only defense for black is bishop to f5 to meet the capture with the capture. And now the winning move, winning quiet move for white goes, uh, it helps a lot with opening prep. LC0, RTX 2080 Ti, not sure what that means. We'll see if I can rent it at uh, just base cloud engines. And the winning move here goes quiet move in the middle of the attack is rook d3 with a threat. So the idea was if white takes, then bishop takes and there's no mate. This uh, critical knight got removed, uh, but white goes rook d3 first. And now let's say black plays any move. Let's say c6, bishop takes, bishop takes, rook h3. And there is no defense against this one. By the way, you can check out my and, and neural network, of course. Thank you for clar clarifying, Sam. So um, rook h3, it, it is very familiar to a checkmate that I managed to give to a weak version of LC0 yesterday. Feel free to check, check my uh, previous stream. So this, this is how the winning line goes. And I'm gonna run my own Stockfish. I hope you can see, let me see if you can see the line. Yeah, you can see Stockfish right here. Uh, it takes uh, like depth 20 it found already. Knight c4, bishop c4, rook d3. You can see all the moves quickly found by Stockfish. And now I'm gonna rent. Uh, so I'm not gonna use my uh, friend's Valeri's uh, LC0 because it did solve, but he has it up to date because he's on the team that supports uh, TCEC Lila. But I'm gonna rent the. Uh, which you can rent the engines at chess base uh, um, cloud engine service. So I'm gonna try, uh, wait a minute. This one I think is pretty fast. Let's see. LC0, yeah, well, specialists can, can tell me what it is. I think that's the same one that, that uh, Sam mentioned, RTX 2080 Ti, yes, but it's not running for some reason. Hold on a second. 
yeah, it's not it's not working. So you can Sam, you can test your position, test your Lila using this one, and I'm gonna try uh, some other version because I checked and they couldn't. Yeah, it cannot solve. LC uh, 260, 2060, whatever that means. Specialists know what that means. Mm, yeah. All right. Knight C, Rook D3, I did found. Interesting. Interesting. The, the one I was using for my um, everyday analysis couldn't find this one. So, oh, now it's gone. Okay, now it's back again. So I don't really understand the logic in this, but this one managed to find it. So, uh, um, but for Stockfish, it took much, much faster. And you may want to bear that in mind uh, next time you're using Leela for your analysis. Um, so uh, I have other examples where it is not seeing a win, but that was not actually a subject of uh, today's stream. I'm going to talk about uh, um, converting the winning advantage. And I want to really address an issue of really weird and even bad moves by LC0 that it played in, uh, in the current uh, TCC championship. For example, let me open up this game. Let me see. Wait a second. How do I do that? You can see still that position. Sorry for technical difficulties. Yeah, I think it was at the very end, the last win. Let's see if this is the one. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, you can see the position in Houdini. Okay, and let's go to this one. Let's see, sorry for a delay. You can see, that's good. Yes, you can see it. No, it's still Stockfish Houdini. What did it? I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't have really lots of time to prepare. You can see Stockfish Houdini game. Why is that? I need, I need you to see another position. Not this one. I'm going to change to this one. Yes. Yes, this is the one. Okay. So we're going to skip the... the oh, first of all, um, I'm going to run Stockfish just to check what was going on here. You can see the ratings of this... Uh, of this uh, and then engines like <laughs> 4000 this is like unthinkable what is what is happening there so bishop to e6 knight ed5 and i think that stu i'm not sure how to pronounce that engine's name played bishop takes g5 in how many seconds uh, it was like in a minute or something. It played bishop g takes g5, which was just a blunder that Stockfish, like very simple Stockfish can see that just takes, takes, give check, take the rook, and there's nothing happening here after queen g2, there's queen h5. So, and it gave up another rook. Uh, maybe it blundered knight b1. I'm not sure what is going on, but I was always expecting that engines of 4000 elo cannot blunder such things. Apparently they can. So, but let me see what LC0 did when converting the advantage. Knight to b4, knight c7, bishop g4, queen e8, king f6, queen d8, king g6, queen d6, f6, queen takes b4. So, there is no mate. White is two rooks, one piece up for one pawn. And there is a discovered check, but the king can hide. So, it played queen g2, rook f1, a5. So Stockfish gives like huge plus 15 evaluation. So everything is winning for white because there's no mate. White has two rooks up and you can see some very weird decisions by LC0. Let me show you one. Queen goes to e7, which is fine. And now suddenly knight goes to e6 and after check black takes it. So and then white just continues as if nothing happened. There was no need whatsoever to give up that knight. And I'm going to support, support it with, with Stockfish. Why would you give up the whole knight? You can just go knight to e8 and attack the pawn on g7. There's just one check, king goes to c1, and that's it. So here, lc0 just gives up the knight. So the evaluation of Stockfish was like plus 20. And after knight e6, it's plus 12. So the whole knight was lost. Uh, maybe knight takes e6. 
So, and then it keeps doing such weird, weird moves. Probably just thought it was long-term compensation against white king. Yeah, that's, that's a problem with neural networks. Um, I'm not sure how they work and they don't calculate long. So Stockfish is really good at calculating long straightforward lines till the end. Uh, and it figures them out very quickly. But if there's like a very unexpected move, it can just fail to see the tactics. Let me show you some other move. Knight d2, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, now it just went king b2. It just, the rook is hanging and it just says, yeah, you take my knight. I do not understand this decision at all. So from human, so uh, frankly speaking, almost literally any move is winning here. But the engine says, move the rook away, just do a stockfish. King b2, queen takes d2, uh, check, bishop g2, rook d1. Of course, everything is winning, but why would you give up the whole knight? And then I th yeah, and then now it just gave the whole rook. Why would you do that if you don't have, if you want to take that pawn on a4, just take it now. So these moves do not make sense. The, uh, so you may ask why LC0 was doing those moves. Uh, my understanding, and you can question it, I may be wrong about that one. My understanding is that uh, I can check it at, uh, uh, wait a minute, I can check it on the website. So I think the probability of a win is like still 100. I think 100% anyway. And so from uh, LC0's point of view, all moves are equal because they are all completely winning. So I'm going to open open the, um, this game and I'm going to check the percentage that uh, that LC0 was giving at each particular moment. Yeah, even it is very funny with, with two rooks up, it's only 48% win, but it's completely winning. Then with rook AD1, 83% uh, win with like two rooks up it's giving only 83% and mm, and I also would say that uh, the as far as, as I understand the LC0 is learning in the following fashion it uh, plays the game against itself and uh, and then then if the result is not uh, not good it would make changes but I'm guessing if the result is good there's nothing to learn and that is sort of a problem because if there's nothing to learn, it means you did everything right. And you need some other engine's opinion to, to say, no, why did you do that? So, and that's why LC0 moves in winning positions do not make sense very often. So do like, I, I, would, I would continue with this one. Hold on. Yeah, you can still see this position. Okay. And, and after that, it converted more or less okay. After that, that was fine. So I'm going to show you one more game that I found really weird. Let me see. Next win against... Oh, same engine. Uh, was it weird here? No, here it was a normal win, I would say. Ah, no, it was not normal. So uh, here's another game. I hope everything is fine. You can see it. Yeah, you can see it, my board again. Uh, you're welcome, by the way, to ask any questions that you like. So here you go. There's a, this position. White is full rook up for zero points. Nothing is happening. Again, so LC0 outplayed that as two fleece. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Plus eight, plus any move is less completely winning after G5. Any move. And somewhere here, LC0 again for no reason. Rook D3 is fine. Takes, takes. It just gives up the rook. You know, just rook D7. Why would you do it? Can't you like take this for free? <laughs> like it doesn't make sense. You just take it for free. That's it. It gives up the rook and then it, and then and then and then takes the bishop. Of course, this is still completely winning. But uh, and then did it do anything else? Yeah, at some point. Wait a minute. Yeah, two pieces up. Two pieces up. It goes for repetition, which is very weird. <laughs> gives up the bishop on c6. Black doesn't take it. So we told doesn't uh, you take a free bishop that doesn't make sense whatsoever to me and then and then it's just h2 it let the pawn promote ah sorry no uh at some point no that that was it here it was made so very weird decision by lc0 i can see some question essentially everything wins and it takes whatever random move it likes i'm guessing the winning percentage in tcc website is not the winning percentage lila is thinking of Oh, thank you for pointing that out. I did not know that. 
plus four plus five it's 90 percent winning lily is trolling always go for repetition yeah uh, there was one more line uh, one more win that i wanted to address today uh maybe this one let's see no i think this one was yeah by the way this is a great example of uh, Leela understanding closed positions way better than Stockfish. So um, if you run any, I'm guessing, version of Stockfish, I'm not sure which one is, let me see. This is the evaluation of Stockfish, big advantage, but no, oh, now zeros. It's not zeros. Black is still in huge trouble. So black is pawn up but white is completely dominating. So there was, a, according to Stockfish, there was no need to sacrifice this pawn, but white is still completely dominating, black has zero counterplay, and white slowly improves. So this is position, another positional masterpiece. Another pawn sacrifice for, well, uh, when I say another, I mean I'm referring to alpha zero Stockfish match, and LC zero is, uh, well, like alpha zero, maybe now even stronger. And, uh, so white is, with every move, white is improving the position. Just first the bishop goes to a better square. Now knight goes to g6. Now this knight is improved. Now queen is improved. Now we're getting some space on the queen side. Uh, moving the bishop to a better diagonal. Ah, go for repetition, yeah. Look to b1. White is slowly improving its position. Slowly improving its position. I'm not sure why, why did black decide to give up. Yeah, so... Probably there are problems after capture, but this is very misleading evaluation from Stockfish. Let me check what was the evaluation. The lack of clear winning drive for mate is known to the developers and is currently being worked on. Okay, good to hear. It is a constant discussion in our Discord server. So what I'm trying to, I'm not trying to, uh, to complain or blame, but uh, don't look for meaning in LC0's uh, decisions in a completely one positions, all right? The, from human point of view, they do not make any sense whatsoever. Where you can really learn from stock from Leela is from closed position maneuvering. So here, Stockfish gives complete zeros. And let me, I'm gonna quickly check what was the evaluation of LC0 when it was playing. So this is move number 28. I'm gonna go to TCEC quickly. Move number 28, rook b2, a4, knight g4, right? That's the one, yes. Mm, LC0 gives big advantage to white and Stockfish gives zero. So Stockfish is wrong in this position. And well, I hope to see LC0 beating Stockfish, but Stockfish is better at converting winning positions. Let me put it this way. And I my, my uh, estimation is that uh, uh, Stockfish is uh, Stockfish is better at calculating straightforward chess. Straightforward chess. All right, I can by the way check the same position. What would what would be the evaluation of of Valeri's Lila, which is which is a good good version of Lila. I hope my my laptop will not collapse because it has to connect to remote computer. Let me see. I will not move. I will not move. Let's see. Is it working? Is it working? Yes, my... St oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think I lost my board. Oh, my chess base collapsed. Apologies, my friends. Apologies for that. I will open it in a second. I will open it in a second. Uh-huh. Where is that? Sorry, I'm really sorry about these technical difficulties. I just love this game a lot because it shows exactly how good uh, LC0 is in in converting, in, in playing positional chess. Okay. Yeah. Sorry for that. Yeah, I will not I will not run too many engines. All right, so where were we? No, not this one, not this one, not this one, not this one. Yes, this, sorry, ah, this is not Komodo. Oh man, that's too bad, I have to filter. Yeah, 
I'm sorry for that. There are lots of difficulties. I'm not sure how to handle them as I go. Let me just um, answer some of your questions. Um, interesting chat. Shortest win was Bobby's goal based on his 60 memorable games, but I found the humans will often go for the simplest. Do you recommend any books for visualization? Sanjay is asking black screen of death yes that was it uh for visualization i would say any book is good for visualization as long as you don't use the chessboard you just use your uh your head to uh, um to imagine the position that you have in front of you okay hold on a second i think there was one more win that i found really confusing uh, really confusing not this one uh I think against e Ethereal, that was the win. Yeah, uh, one more, one more game that I want to to show you. Again, apologies for technical difficulties. I'm gonna fix them quickly. I'm gonna move you to another board. I want to show you this game. Yep, that's the one. All right. So uh, if I understand correctly, none of these uh, neural network engines are connected to the table bases. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm reading the chat, because otherwise I have no explanation of uh, the following game. Of the following game. So, White got good position out of the opening, and uh, Stockfish agrees with that. And then at some point, so LC0 is always giving big advantage, is always giving big advantage. From Stockfish's point of view, the advantage is not that big anymore. All right. Uh, it's Stockfish gives zero uh, e equality, but it's clear that only white is playing for a win, for sure. Uh, and the position I had in mind was this one. So uh, sometimes I have no clue why NN engines are doing the decisions they are doing. They do not make any sense to me. Maybe you can help me with that. So don't try to find a deeper meaning here. So for example, for example here, rook e6, white goes rook c5, black moves the queen, white returns back to d5, and instead of just repeating, which the position was just like this and black played this move right is black playing for a win of course not so if you just do nothing maybe you can hold rook c5 queen a8 rook d5 just come back to d7 and pass the move by the way queen d7 it's important to point out that bishop g4 is not winning material because of x-ray because queen moves and if you take take you actually lose the rook because of the pin so small chess lesson here and it doesn't come back to d7 and it just gives white this extra option of taking the pawn. Why would you do it? I, it does not make any sense to me. TCC provides six man uh, table bases to all engines, I believe. I see. Because six pieces, yeah, it makes it. But come on, there are Lomonos of seven pieces. You can go to Lee Chess and put any seven piece position. That's it. You get the answer right away. So, nevertheless, black, black was holding this position uh, quite well, and now the rook got exchanged, and they go to this different colored bishop endgame. And Stockfish is, re uh, well, it's not really good. I have many examples where Stockfish is failing different colored bishop endgame. But this one, it is, well, you have to stop b6, so bishop a5 is logical. Now kings are um, going somewhere. Black is pushing here, here. All moves are good until one moment. I cannot really understand this one. Maybe you can clarify this for me. So b6, there is no other way to play to play for a win because the king is busy with this pawn. You cannot really go f5. Really, why not f5? I thought bishop d4 was a draw. f5, king e8 only move. Okay, that is weird. Anyway, so this is what lc0 is doing. And this is evaluation. If you go to Lee Chess seven piece table base it gives a draw so it's for sure a draw maybe contempt factor for ethereal i don't know bishop d4 so so they are playing this for a very long time the only way to make progress for white is to push f5 but then you cannot push f6 so the way to make progress is to go f5 and go with the king to e6 but that is not happening 
because black's king is yeah so king went to d6 bishop went to h4 king d7 bishop f6 so black misplayed a little bit i think black could have played in a in a better fashion so it's important to uh, bishop has to stay here now because e6 e7 is coming and bishop f6 is a great move because it stops f5 and capture is never possible because next move is promotion and king f5 so look at stockfish evaluation Bishop a4, king g7. So it's just going back and forth, going back and forth. King g6, bishop c2, king f7. When I checked with leeches, turns out this is the position of a mutual Tsukzwan. If it's white to move, it's a draw. If it's black to move, white wins, because black apparently has no good place to move the king or the bishop. So bishop, so my stockfish, which is incomparably weaker than the one playing the TCEC championship right now, the value of pieces in, pos in position for Leela is relative. Seven men table base are too big to store on most hardware and engines are slowed down greatly by accessing these giant files. I see. Yeah, I'm not an expert in computers, but again, at Leeches it's available, like you don't have to store it, you can just connect it to... I don't know, I, I don't know that. Of course, it's... Uh, um, uh, it's a huge, uh, huge uh, gigabytes, terabytes, huge number. I'm not sure what exactly it is. All right. And now bishop a4, king g6, bishop d1. And now king g7 was the only move. My weak stockfish is showing that king g7 is the only move. And bishop c2, it's king f7 only move. Retreating to a position of mutual Zugzwang. And I cannot imagine 3800 ELO engine except neural networks for some reason. So they sometimes have... Um, in my view, unexplainable um, decisions. Just bishop went to h4, and after bishop c2, the game was lost because the, the pawns just started going. The king went to g7, king e6, and now uh, f4, f5, f6 is unstoppable. King g7. If king, I'm trying to understand what's the difference. King e6, bishop d8, f5, bishop a5, f6. King g6, bishop c2, king g5. It's not obvious to me that it's a draw, but it is obvious for, for stockfish. And yet it is not obvious for e serial, which was not connected to the table bases, and it just simply lost. The pawn just went. <laughs> that was it. So I find this win very weird. But I'm, I'm happy for LC0. I wanted to become a champion, to be honest, so I have a bias, because I, I like how amazing it is in uh, uh, converting... Uh, uh, in playing positional chess, it is just amazing. And this game against Scorpio... Yeah, this one I also don't understand Scorpio's decisions. For example, for example, this one I do not understand. Uh, yeah, LC0 played a really good game here. Really good Kings Indian, really good. So I do not understand why do you need to push B4. I don't see any need for that, but why did it? And then like if black has rooks, just don't open any files. So probably black is ready to go f5 or g5 here to try to win. But uh, well, it apparently white white is fine just keeping the things the way they are. Knight c4, my weak stockfish says that's a huge mistake because a file gets opened. Why would you give this opportunity? Just the, the rooks came in and the pawns didn't promote. And that was it. And that was it. The pawns just, uh, yeah, the linear mate. Yeah, it did promote, but uh, that was it. So some of the decisions I really do not understand. Um, but uh, yeah, this game we already checked. This game which we already checked. So these were the things I wanted to address uh, about LC0. Uh, should I give an example of, uh, of a tactical position uh, that, uh, that LC0 cannot solve? Let me see if I can, off the top of my head, off, off the top of my head, off the top of my what? I forgot. I forgot what I should, what I was supposed to say. Let me see. It doesn't show a win. Not this one. Yeah, I'm going to show you a, a famous position. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm going to show you this one. Hold on to your hats. One second. I'm switching. I'm switching. Uh, yeah. 
and I'm going to remove all the text. All right. One more position. I hope you can see it well and I can, hope you can see everything. Uh, so I, uh, there was a game this season where Ali played LC0. Agrees that Ali was winning, but LC0 showed 0 0.2 and said it has a draw. And it was a draw. Yeah, I'm not sure I didn't follow up that closely. So I want to show you an example where, where Lila is not so good. So here, this, uh, uh, this position is a little bit adjusted. So the pawn is hanging and it's very well-known combination that on knight a4, there's a brilliant, brilliant way uh, to win this one is rook takes b2, knight takes b2 and c3. The pawn is going. So knight d3 doesn't stop the pawn because of this cover check and then takes and the pawns promote. So, but white can take on b6 and, uh, and well, it uh, seems like a win and black plays amazing white move c4 and now c2 is the threat and the pawns promote and black gets huge advantage. So if I run regular stockfish, let's see what it says. Um, one, two, three, three seconds it figure out that knight a4 is a blunder because rook b2 and c3 rook b6 and c4 and the pawns promote. Uh, however, let me see. Okay, uh, Valeri's Lila is, is quite good. So it may, may, may show, may not, let me, oh, sorry, I, no, I hope my chess base will not collapse again. Ah! Uh, did it collapse? No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Yep. You can see knight a4 is being suggested. We can wait. Knight a4 is being said. I'm not sure how long to wait because the depths doesn't seem to be rising. Doesn't seem to be rising. Let me try some other network. So for Stockfish, it took like seconds. One, two, three seconds to see that knight a4 is a mistake. Actually, a4 is the correct move. The only move. Well, knight a4 is not losing, but uh, it's a bad, uh, um, bad decision. I'm going to load a faster version. Let me see. Yeah, still knight a4 is on the list. And this is a really good Lila. And it is blundering. It is not seeing, so depth 20. I'm not sure at what depth is Lila normally doing its moves at, uh, at the championship. Uh, however, Fania you've already knows that position. It's from some old book. Your Lila doesn't see it. it says knight a4 is okay. To be fair, knight a4 is okay. So I adjusted the, the, in the famous position, there were pawns, there was a pawn on e6 and one more pawn on g5 and supposedly it was from some game, but they say it could have been, the story was made up. Removing those pawns. So what I'm trying to say here is knight a4 is a blunder and Lila is suggesting it. And it's not a very difficult one. If you give it to even a decent, uh, a decent player, you don't need to be titled player and say white, black to move and win. Uh, it's, it's very, it's very findable, if that's the word. And uh, in Lila's defense, there's still no win because there's a fortress. But yeah, it's suggesting knight a4. Let me play knight a4. Yeah, and now it found rook b2. It just doesn't see that, it does see that the pawn is promoting. So when I do this, knight b2, c3, rook b6, c4. Ah, okay, I forgot about the main line, rook b4 and now a5 is very, another move because you cannot go c2, you cannot take, you have to go a5 and knight c4, c2, knight a5, yeah, Lila is correct because this is indeed, indeed a fortress, indeed the fortress, but the relation minus 0 0.2 is, yeah, not the one was given here. So it was blundering, but luckily it was a fortress. I can adjust this position and put a pawn on h6, let me see. So now knight a4 would be losing. Now knight to a4 is losing, and but it's still considering bishop d8 and moving the bishop to f6. Knight a4 loses to, uh, to rook takes b2 and it cannot see it. Let me play knight a4, still bishop d8. Yes, yeah, so it's not seeing combination when it's just right there. Just take, the, uh, take it and, uh, and uh, now black is for sure winning. Depth is actually, actually meaningless for LC0. It doesn't really mean anything useful like for traditional engines. Thank you, I did not know that. Node count is a better metric. Yeah, but I think there's some sort of correlation between depth and node count. Um, so yeah, maybe. Uh, 
maybe notes it's the better way to say but it's still not giving i'm gonna note count let me click note count i'm not sure what at what number is it playing at at uh, tcc at what note count but uh, yeah maybe i can check uh, speed notes 10 million notes okay so we are approaching 1 million but it's still uh, it still is not seeing rook takes b2 yeah and i can once i play it it would see no not yet oh poor lila now it's understanding okay king g6 <laughs> what the heck is that okay now now it realized and the, the problem with analyzing with lila is also that stockfish uh, has this i think it's hash memory or something so if you play a move it remembers and then if you come back it remembers that this was bad sometimes depths go down with more notes i did not know that okay Anyways, this is an example of Leela blundering and with Stockfish, at least when you show it that it's blundering, it memorizes it. But unfortunately for Leela, so this is a discussion I've been having that how do you teach Leela not to blunder if it's only playing itself and if it's playing for both colors, it just doesn't know it blundered. So how can you become better if you don't know that you were wrong? Yeah, so it's not seeing half a million notes. Yeah, we can wait for more six, uh, but I'm pretty sure it will not uh, will not. I can add more lines. Doesn't help. Uh, I think at at TCC it's like running with one line. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what other. But anyway, rook b2 is not considered by Lila here. So I want to summarize the stream somehow. Uh, number one, I'm a big fan of Lila, but you need really need to know where it could go wrong. When it comes to converting the advantage, it's weird. The bigger, slower nets tend to suffer less from this issue. Bigger, slower nets. Really? Okay. Hold on. I have a... I think I have a... Um, no, but uh, it's not very big, but... Uh, yeah, so you can test your Lila, for example, uh, using uh, using this position. Anyways, so when converting advantage, it plays weird moves. Don't try to make sense of them. Um, it may blunder. That's why when I'm analyzing, I'm using uh, Stockfish just just to to make sure that I'm not running into some relatively simple tactics. Actually, Lila don't blunder on TCC for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did not know that. I did not know that. You don't even remember when it was the last time. All right. So I'm more um, more concerned about people now in love with with uh, neural networks, and that's understandable. They are amazing, but you really need to know what are the flaws of them. So uh, if I go to uh, to Chessbase and rent the the most expensive okay i'm gonna do that I, I'm, I really find it interesting i'm gonna try to rent the most expensive expensive lila there is let me run it i'm running it right now node speed what is the speed this is the speed. this is the most expensive lila really it's really expensive okay it's not expensive it's like five bucks per hour but that's still what does some do to build a bigger net at home i have no clue analyzing with stockfish's lila is a good idea yep that's what i'm doing yeah so really good really good lila is not note count let me see note count one million already and it still considers knight a4 as a decent option maybe a4 is also bad but the point is that knight a4 is losing on the spot so i'm gonna turn it off you can see that almost two million notes and it still uh, it still is blundering uh, maybe the tcc lila is not blundering maybe maybe the the positions were not right but i'm saying when you're analyzing with lila you should be very careful it's amazing at playing positional chess i think lila's opening knowledge is far superior to stockfish and even i prefer to databases yeah i'm also using lila in the opening sometimes it can come up with new ideas the average person cannot. You need lots of good hardware and lots of programming knowledge. I see. I see. Okay. So what is the summary? Leela is very good at closed positions and uh, um, slowly improving the advantage, uh, positional advantage. It is. Um, I mean, when I say Leela, I refer to uh, um, Leela that you can use on your 
devices. It's not good at, uh, at calculating tactics, in my view, compared to Stockfish. So that's how I'm using it for my analysis, Stockfish plus Lila, or even weak Stockfish, just to make sure. And even still, they both can blunder. I have maybe, maybe some, sometime in the future, I would show positions where both of them are just clueless what is going on. But they are very rare and unlikely. But Lila can blunder uh, um, slightly unusual combinations. All right. All right, I th yeah, so there's a discussion about technical aspects. How many nodes? Yeah, you can read the chat on the, on the, on the right. Okay, uh, I would say if you do not have any more questions, I'm going to wrap up uh, the stream. I do hope uh, to see Stockfish Leela in the Super Final, because these are the two engines I'm using. And uh, I hope the best engine wins. <clears throat> LC0 and uh, I hope you like uh, what you saw um, hold on doesn't really blunder in terms of computer chess like it does not change the outcome of the game negatively but for humans it can make very weird choices especially when the position is winning here yeah. is serial blunders was caused by a bug yeah I can I can understand that thank you Ralph all right so I'm wrapping this up it's been 40 minutes thank you for listening for so long to me um, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, um, check out the description. You can see it's a previous, uh, one of my previous streams where, uh, where I discussed the position where both Stockfish and Leela are blundering. And uh, Stockfish Queen D1 blunder was great against Alpha Zero. Yeah, Queen D1 was not a blunder. You can find, yeah, please go to my earlier videos about Alpha Zero's win with Black against Stockfish. I'm explaining in detail what exactly did, did uh, uh, why did Stockfish just gave up the knight in that position. The combination is fantastic, so you can scroll through my channel and find that video. You can learn more about engines in my, in my channel. Um, you can support it by purchasing my course on tactics. I hope you like what you saw. Tell your friends. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, take care and good luck.